YouTube, what's up? Man, the same questions, different days, same mic, same you, same place, same gym, Third Street Barbara, what's up? 3SB.co. Welcome. I got a little training today, squats to warm them up. I'm mid set right now. Then we're going into deadlifts for the volume work, probably 3x3, three 345 to 555. Back in buys, bunch of cardio, you know the gig, same shit, man. Um, the questions remain, man. A lot of people seem stuck in their progress and a lot of people are coming back into the gym from time off and how do we improve that? How do we get better after COVID, after time off, after switching gyms, um, getting off your diet, vacation, whatever, all the answers are gonna be very similar, so let's dive in. When we're talking about getting back in the gym after breaks, long breaks, um, which probably to me mean over three weeks, not touching a barbell or not lifting or moving, um, what people tend to do, do not do this, is come in crazy lightweight and start doing sets of 10 to 12 on squats and deadlifts. Uh, now that's fine if you wanna get really, really sore, and I guess if hypertrophy is your only goal, using any kind of weight to get close to failure and tension on the muscles, not a bad idea. But if you're anywhere in the strength realm or power building realm, um, we want to take that away and actually go the opposite. Um, that's when I would go back to my most progressive or my best feeling where I had the most progress with my frequency. Um, and I would start to work in higher intensities with very low reps. So I would, I would handle singles, doubles, triples, very few sets on the main compound movements and build back that skill of training heavy, the skill of getting stronger, uh, maybe one back down set. I think HaizenTraining.com, my coaching has a revamp program. Um, I think some of it's free if you wanna check that out, it's very similar to this. So what we don't wanna do is just come back and start doing 10 sets of 10 on whatever weight we can with light weight. Because uh, eventually when you do plateau, which is our next topic, how do we, you know, why are we stuck in our progress? Um, you have nowhere to go. What are you gonna do, 11 sets of 10, 12 sets of 10, 13 sets of 10, uh, until we just absolutely obliterate ourselves? We wanna be a little more logical with our approach. Um, so if we do one top set of, of anywhere from one to three reps on a heavy movement, and then a drop set of, of maybe sets of five, one down volume set and we progress that way we can add a little bit of weight week in and week out for maybe maybe up to even six eight weeks that way then when things start to struggle a little bit we'll still hit that top set and now we can hit two down sets so we have three total working sets on one day that's again if you're squatting three times a week this may look a little different we'll have some variations involved and we'll also um, maybe hit some you know threes to fives one day fives to ten one day and one to threes the other day with a variation of some nature what variation can depend on the individual, what you make progress with. It's not um, end all be all. You must close grip bench and you must high bar pause squat for your, there's a lot of reasons to add variations and that's part of programming, coaching, learning over time when to implement them. And then sometimes, to be honest, there is no rhyme or reason. Sometimes we just need to handle less weight and so we're going beltless high bar on a day to force ourselves mentally and physically to handle less weight because it's our light day on squats if we're squatting multiple times a week. So hopefully the revamp that helps with accessories. Uh, again, if hypertrophy is the goal, you could do one to two um, difficult sets, you know, three reps from failure and slowly progress over weeks by adding slightly less weight or slightly more weight, excuse me, on, you know, things like chin-ups and cable um, push downs and barbell curls and rows. Again, when that starts to plateau in terms of how much work you can get in or not being able to add weight, that's when I would add another set there. Um, obviously hypertrophy, being able to gauge how much muscle we're building or, or if we're given the proper stimulus, what's optimal, which is a very popular word on TikTok, what the hell, uh, is impossible, is impossible to, to pinpoint. We can't pinpoint what is optimal if I'm getting the exact stimulus I need on my lower lat in this exact exercise to progress. Um, so all we could do is try to add a little bit of load or a rep or set a week um, until we can go up in weight. So I'll do three sets of 10, then I could do th two sets of 10 and one set of 11, then two sets of 11 and one set of, right? And, and we progress that way. Then we can add a little bit of weight and go back to three sets of 10. Hopefully that makes some sense. I know I just rambled a lot. Hopefully you dig something from there. It can help you guys in your goals. Leave your comments below. Be sure to like and follow on this thing. Subscribe, man, show love. We're on TikTok, Instagram, jamming every day. I wanna answer your questions. I still wanna help. I still wanna show my progress. We're getting after it. You guys see a little bike picture on the Instagram. I got some delts popping. It's not Photoshop, but we're getting there. I got a little bit more weight to lose. I'm excited. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. New 3SB coming very soon. We will announce it when we can. Stay up. Let's get it.